So we've set up a special Deadly 60 experiment. This tank here is filled with the exact kind of life that you find out there in the ponds, just the sort of things that this spider will be feeding on. Mark, the cameraman down here, has a super high magnification lens, so hopefully we can get to see the spider hunting. All we need to do now is sit and wait and hope for some action. Raft spiders spend most of their lives half in, half out of the water. They sense ripples along the surface that lets them know that their dinner's approaching. The reason this spider has managed to make this environment so much its own is down to its use of surface tension. For very, very small creatures and for creatures that can spread their weight efficiently, the surface of the water becomes like a sort of elastic sheet that it can skate about over the top of. You can see this one here standing up on its tiptoes on the water, almost as if it was solid. It can still, however, duck beneath the surface and catch things that are swimming around just underneath the water. But this spider can do something even more amazing. He's just ducked beneath the surface. Now look, that is amazing. All of that silvery sheen to the, uh, to the exoskeleton has just trapped air bubbles, which are held under tiny, tiny little hairs all down the legs. It makes him look like he's been wrapped up in bako foil or something. He's just turned into a robot spider. Amazing. They can stay submerged like this on a single breath of air for perhaps as long as an hour, which kind of shows why it's pointless flushing a spider down the sink or down the bath. Look at that, going right down. Actually, he's right by a water boatman at the bottom of this reed. This could be about to happen. We could be about to see raft spider hunting in progress. Ooh, that was close. Did you see that? The spider's definitely getting more active. Oh, oh, you're in trouble. Just missed it. Oh, got it. That was absolutely formidable. The spider just absolutely lunged forward caught a hold of that water boatman, which themselves are, are quite ferocious predators. And it's all over. Right now, venom's being injected into that insect, and it's going to start digesting from the inside out. And it's history. All over in a flash. You can't tell me that's not deadly.